We could have chosen Holosievsky district or Hostiny Dvir trade complex for our letter G. But our choice was obvious. Here we are, looking at the Boris Grinchenko's monument. There is a museum in the university named after him. Let's have a look. He was a teacher, ethnographer, writer and lexicographer, Grinchenko. This is the right stress in the famous educator's surname. Say Shevchenko if you want to check it. The effects are connected too. Being 13-year-old, Grichenko, influenced by his poems, chose to speak Ukrainian, though his family disapproved it. Here they are, all four volumes of the dictionary he compiled. Because of it, all next attempts to ban Ukrainian language are doomed. 68 thousands of words. Grinchenko and his wife sorted and quoted the sources from dusk till dawn. At the beginning of the 20th century, he settled on this quiet street. He started this work at request of scientific magazine Kiev's Antiques. Very often at nights he didn't sleep but work. Because of him we created our virtual alphabet of Kiev. Living City is a Bruce Grinchenko University project.